Okay, so the second treatment that we're going to be using today is the Hyamira Skin Repair. Now, normally I probably wouldn't use that on a client as young as Sydney because she doesn't need a lot of repair in the collagen area. So um, it would probably benefit somebody who was in probably in their mid thirties uh, onwards, sorry, I can't see my face, uh, mid thirties onwards. But I'm just gonna do it today to show you the benefits um, on the skin anyway. So these are handy little no needles. And then they come with, you can see, you can see a little lot number and new expiration date um, and where they're made in Italy. I like Hyamira, I like the brand, I like the packaging, not that the packaging is important, but I like the, the hyaluronic fillers. I've, and they've increased their their range from just doing hyaluronic fillers they're now doing all of these different skin um, uh, these skin serums which are fantastic ingredients so we're just going to pop this on again I'm going to pop it on more so underneath the eyes where she's got little telltale fine lines coming around the top lip this is really good for doing um, where there's been dermal fillers put in because it can repair any skin damage Okay, just gently rub that over. This is just a topical treatment, but I like to needle it in a little bit, just superficially, because then it really gets into the skin layer, the top layers that we want it to. Again, we're just working it into the skin, just little gentle circular motions. You can use this in conjunction with other treatments as well. But if you wanted to do it as a facial for your for your client, you can then um, follow up with a nice mask or LED light therapy. You can also use this by stamping it into the skin. So there is a little bit of a different technique. You can actually just pop it straight into the skin by just jumping on it. And just go over it again, maybe. Yeah. See how it just goes straight into the skin. It's very easy to get it absorbed using this technique. I'm just going to something around the eyes. And around the area where dermal filler has gone in, we're repairing. I haven't used any numbing cream in this treatment it's not painful it's a little bit nippy now and again but um, overall you don't really need to put numbing cream unless you're doing a real deep microneedling session 
which you will see a bit later on I think we're going to be doing a, another video of Sydney doing it on me because I have more problem areas and I have some scarring to get rid of you see like the natural inflammation coming up on the skin this is what we want this is, this is just on your head this redness will go down it will take about an hour hour and a half to go down probably a bit more to completely fade away but this is creating all new collagen and it's got that beautiful product back into the skin okay that's it